understand, you can't change people. You can encourage them. You can speak faith into them. But ultimately, you cannot make them do what's right. And I say this respectfully, but you're not responsible for their happiness. You're responsible for your own happiness. You need to have the attitude. Have the attitude. If you don't want to be happy, that's fine. But you're not going to keep me from being happy. If you want to live in the pits, that's okay. But I'm not going to get in there with you. I'm going to enjoy my life. Hi, and welcome to Sunday Gospel Live. I'm P.K. Mickens uh, with Shofar Media, and we are live here in Jacksonville, Florida at the Books A Million, where the one and only Joel Osteen is here doing a book signing on his new book, I Declare. Stay tuned. We're going to see if we can get to talk to him, maybe, and also maybe we can get some words of encouragement for you as well. Stay tuned. I am here with Miss Patricia and Miss Connie who have just gotten a book signed, right? Yes, we did and it was very exciting and he appears to be as warm and as charming and uh, you know, personable as he is on television. So what was your favorite part about coming today to get your book signed? Just being here, just being able to get off my job and get here on time and get in line and get my book signed. I'm so excited. How long were you guys waiting? Uh, we've been waiting uh, at least about an hour. Okay, but I'm sure it was definitely worth the wait, right? It was worth every moment of it. Well, thank you. You got to meet Joel Olsen? Yes, I sure am. Yes. Did you? What did you ask him? I didn't get to ask him much. He was trying to get the book signed. Okay, and um, is this your first book or second or third? It's my, probably my third. <laughs> okay. P.K. Mickens, and I am holding Joel Osteen's latest book, and it's entitled I Declare. We're here at the book signing, and I have two beautiful ladies that have purchased this book, and you've got your book signed as well? It's, it was really nice experience just to, you know, watching on TV the whole for years and finally get the chance to meet him. It's, it's been a blast for that. Really, is he one of your favorites? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Now, you have a Spanish version as well. Tell me a little bit about that. Are you? This is for my mom. She lives in Puerto Rico. She barely understands English, but she watches his program every Sunday. So, I, this is her Christmas present, so I know that she's going to be really happy to have it. That's exciting. Now, tell us a little bit about your experience because I'm holding one of her books as well. So she bought two. Who did you buy the other one for? One is for a friend and one is for myself. And I'm, I'm just, I just love to listen to him. He has so many positive thoughts and my daughter and my family really loves him. And we're just planning to go to Houston, Texas to go to Lakewood. So you're going to actually go to the ministry. Mm -hmm. That is going to be exciting. Yes, it is. Now tell me, um, do you have a favorite book of Joel Osteen? I wanted to purchase this time around. Um, every, every day is Friday. That they say it's wonderful. That makes you happy because everybody's happy. Oh, it's, thanks God it's Friday. So, and he makes it, it make, he makes it sound like it's going to be every day of the week. It's a Friday, so we should be happy about it. Definitely great man of God, and I'm excited that we were able to come out and see him in person, right? Thank, thank you so much for interviewing with Shofar Media. And for more information, you can go to either of our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Shofar Media or facebook.com slash FMN Live. Thank you. It is indeed an honor to have you um, interviewing with Shofar Media and Sunday Gospel Live. And I just wanted to find out what inspired I Declare. You know, what inspired it was there's so many people that say negative things over their lives. So I just want to give some people some, you know, positive declarations to, you know, speak victory and faith over their lives. So it's really just to help people become who God created them to be. And we're excited about your current book now. And this makes book number what for you? I think it's my fifth major book. Okay, so you are almost losing count, right? I know. Now, you have a really big show going on tonight, tomorrow night, I'm sorry, and it's called The Night of Hope. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what the attendees can expect? 
Yeah, it's a two and a half hour service where we have music and I try to tell a little bit of my story and just try to encourage people. We've got a lot of great testimonies and my mom shares how she overcame cancer and Victoria shares. So it's a fun night and it's a night of inspiration. Well, definitely Shofar Magazine will be there to get inspired and encouraged. And we thank you so much for interviewing with us. And we would also like to give you a magazine as well. Um, that's one of our issues. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. Thank, thank you. So you. Sometimes we have to love people from a distance. You may have, you laugh because you know it's true. <laughs> you may have family members, relatives, friends. You love them. They're good people, but you can't be around them every minute. You can be kind, you can be respectful, but you should not spend all your time with what I call toxic people. That's people that are always negative, people that bring out the worst in you, people that irritate you and always want to argue. The less time you spend with people like that, the better off you're going to be. And I realize sometimes we don't have a choice. You may work with someone or live with someone that just almost on purpose does things to aggravate you. They feel like it's their calling to make your life miserable. You need to change your approach. The more you let them upset you, the more you let that get under your skin, all you're doing is empowering them. If they can frustrate you, they know they can control you.